well, seemingly weeks later, but realistically speaking, only a few days later. All the parts have been cleaned, scrubbed, buffed, polished, you name it. And some of them came out looking really good. So, time to start the reassembly process. And why not start with something easy like the handle?
commutator, and it's going to get loud. Fantastic. gap between these white wires and the gear doesn't look like much I'm not saying you need a whole lot but make absolutely sure that you've got a gap in there because otherwise it's going to rub against one of these wires so the gap in here is just fine that's not going to move that's all right let's make sure when you get those wires back in there they don't rub up against the gear
front fan case cover to go on. And if you notice, all the screw heads have been completely shined. Isn't that something? I got this little trim piece I got to put back in. And I'm going to do something else. It's going to be kind of controversial. Normally, you put some sealant right here. I have completely removed any old gasket material and sanded it. It is completely, utterly smooth. This is also completely, utterly smooth. And I'm not going to use any gasket material. No, not because I'm cheap or lazy. I have some brand new gasket material um, lying back in the shop in one of my boxes. But I have now, with eight Kirby's, tested this as far as particle count and airflow losses, and I don't have any. So at this time, I won't be putting any gasket material on there. Now, Kirby does not recommend that, so don't do that. I don't use it because I haven't found it to actually be necessary.
too bad. For 25 bucks. Yeah, you heard it right. Including a complete set of tools and a complete shampoo kit. All right. Thanks for staying with me with this journey. And at some point in time, you can look forward to seeing a dual Sanitronic 80 go through the same process. Thanks for watching and happy vacuuming.